The World Economic Africa, Forum Africa, Elsie Kanza, says the forum will look into the problems of famine and the myriad challenges facing the continent, amongst which is continued conflict in Africa. Our foreign editor, Sophie Mukwena, also got the opportunity to speak to Elsie Kanza before the start of proceedings today. One of the critical issues uh, that we have to grapple with as a continent it is the problem of peace and stability. We've seen uh, pockets of conflict on the continent. And for many, this is one thing that is a deterrent in terms of uh, investment. As the World Economic Forum Africa, are you going to look at uh, such uh, issues? Well, as a platform, uh, we're an institution for public-private cooperation. And uh, one of the areas where um, our stakeholders have come together as the issues of humanitarian um, in disasters, uh, wars and, and, and conflicts and really thinking about how to help communities that are affected and how to help to restore um, um, or to help fragile economies uh, to recover. And if we look at, uh, so for example, one of our partners did an assessment of the uh, basis for terrorism in, in Eastern Africa, and they discovered that for many of the youth who were actually getting involved, um, they were coming from marginalized groups and societies. So this kind of insights, which we help you know, our, our stakeholders to generate, um, has led to a rethink of how to uh, help uh, youth and, and create livelihoods where um, with groups that are marginalized and are not connected as well as how to deal with refugees uh, in, in new ways whether it is coming up with new ways of providing um, assistance using mobile technology um, and then just broadening that back to uh, helping governments that mainly are involved in the business of maintaining um, peace and security in the continent collaborate with uh, with business where possible to ensure that economies go on. So governments you know, provide the protection, but businesses create the activities that allow people to live. The issue of drought, it has affected the continent. Uh, the, the example, Somalia, part of Kenya, and South Sudan. Are you also going to look at uh, these natural disasters? Absolutely. One of our co-chairs, Winibia Nyema from Oxfam, is a major advocate at the moment um, about the three ongoing famines. That should be a serious uh, uh, concern to all of us because we actually have people who are, who are dying. Fundamentally, though, uh, it's, it's one example of the negative impact of climate change that, um, for which the contribution has been global, but Africa is the one that, be, that is being most adversely affected. So throughout the meeting, you're going to see different aspects. One, just raising awareness about um, what is happening and the disaster unfolding. Two, we're going to be talking about the food paradox, meaning that we have so much land, we have water <laughs> in abundance, and we can't feed ourselves, right? We have to change this uh, equation. Second is we're a rich continent with poor people, many of them still directly linked uh, to agriculture, to the land. We need to figure out how to add value, how to introduce innovation and really make technology a poor person's um, enabler. It's not for the rich. In the African context, technology needs to work for poor people for them to be able to build their resilience against climate change. Thank you for your time.